Twitter, Mike Sorg, Sorgatron, at Sorgatron, Twitter, Sorgatron.com. Subscribe to the newsletter. We have candy. No, we don't. Uh, today, I want to talk about Twitter. We talked about why Facebook yesterday. Uh, I want to say why Twitter. Why Twitter? Why? I'm asking Twitter why on a lot of things these days. Uh, but I think, uh, you know, for consideration, for your consideration as a online social media platform, again, personal business, probably mostly business or nonprofit or you're a podcast, um, what is Twitter? Um, I think you need to boil down to uh, Twitter was kind of made. Why is the form that it is? Why is this weird thing that that is really hard to explain for one thing? Uh, and that's because it started as a system when there are all, all these apps, not app, apps, but applications um, going on probably around 2007. We didn't have iPhones as persistently as we do now or other devices that have apps, right? Twitter was something you went online and did, uh, but otherwise you could actually use text messaging. That's why we're limited to 140 characters because we were using the SMS uh, text bridge that's limited to, I think, 160, 180, something like that. And it's a room to you know give, give you instructions, for instance, right? So that's why the function is the way it is. Um, over the years, they've added things like retweets and at replies that actually kind of link to links of things. They've added rich media tweets. So if you're on Twitter.com or if you're on certain apps, you'll see pictures and videos. And if you're in the app, you'll you'll see videos play and, and things like that. So it's that's what it's kind of turned into. And of course, I think generally you want to be there because that's the persistent platform that you're seeing on media. Um, it's not going to make sense for everybody. I've struggled over over several years to find a foothold with healthcare clients uh, on Twitter. It's there, it's out there, it, but it seems like just other people selling healthcare products and books and counseling talk, uh, talking to each other. And and I've been haven't been able to tap into and have a genuine conversation as easily uh, there as I am on Facebook, for instance. Yet. Something like the Wrestling Mayhem show makes so much sense because everything everybody gathers on Monday night or a Sunday night pay per view, and, uh, and 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 gathers around a hashtag and has a discussion, and you're able to tap into that discussion and then throw opinions out there and 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 befriend people that will hopefully come tech, check out your show or what, however else you're uh, you know looking to grow or make money or whatever the case may be, whatever your cause is, whatever your message is. Um, again, it's, it's just kind of like joining a giant chat room, you know, throwing your opinion throughout the day. What could, you, you never know what, what people could, uh, uh latch onto and turn into a, a wide open forum. It, it is like an open forum, right? Um, now, whereas if you're on Facebook, maybe you want to limit things. You have to play with their algorithm, right? If you post something on your page or your personal, personal profile, there is no guarantee that the people that follow you will see it. On Twitter, if somebody follows you and they're looking at their stream, there's no, it's there. There should be no uh, distinction that'll 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 not have it on your on your feed. Now there's stuff changing right now where there's a while you're away and it's bringing some stuff to the top that it thinks you're gonna like. They're trying to add some algorithms to it, but generally. If somebody follows the Wrestling Mayhem show or your restaurant or something like that, and you say, hey, there's a special today. Hey, there's an episode. Hey, here's the new episode. Uh, that will go through. That will go through. And, uh, and 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 it's more direct. There's no working around it. There are tools. There are sponsorship tools. So now you can get those tweets in front of more people that don't follow you or repeatedly on people that do follow you uh, to again get your point across and there's different lovers and pulleys to that as well but generally it's the kind of conversation and, and really with any of these you got to see where your audience is uh, as i said facebook uh, it seems like everybody's on facebook so your audience is probably there somewhere and and if it's easy for you to tap into that well, easy is probably not the word for it but uh if it's if it makes sense for you to tap into that by all means please do um with Twitter, uh, you know, it's also I, I've also worked with um, is are you a brand that can have a voice as well? 
Um, it, it's again, if somebody you can always find, basically, like I said, it's a, it's a giant, it's a giant stream, it's a giant chat, and if somebody goes on and talks about uh, uh, how much they hate Comcast, I, I know it's a, it's a general general uh, idea that most people um, um, go to, and, and, and Comcast kind of revolutionized this a little bit with Comcast Cares. Um, you can see who's talking about you, your product, and jump in a little easier, right? And say, you know, do a make good, you know, have a conversation. And it's amazing what happens when somebody is bashing what you're doing and then they actually see, oh, there's a person that's responding to me. That is huge. That is huge. And, and, and it's the perfect place uh, to do something like that. Running promotions, sharing, uh, I think is prevalent on this platform. And, uh, and, and if it makes sense uh, to do it. Um, the other thing is, I, I've always liked to Twitter um, more than Facebook because I've talked about so much barrier of entry. Uh, the barrier is understanding it, yes, but once you're on it, again, somebody on a flip phone can be on Twitter. It is easier to be on Twitter on lesser devices than it is um, than it is on Facebook. I've actually uh, taught a, a certain uh, wrestling promoter. It's a little bit tech technological illiterate, still using his his flip phone. And we sit down and it's like, listen, you know, you can do Twitter too. You know, it's not, you're not, you're not outside the box for this. I was sitting on a flip phone with a T9 uh, uh, texting out these things and, uh, and tweeting. It's, it's absolutely possible. Hope you have a good text plan. Uh, most have unlimited these days anyways, right? Unless you're going on to your plan from uh, uh, 2005, I guess. But, um, but no, I, I think, I think that's, that's the core reasons of why Twitter. Everybody can do it. More people can do it and be mobile. And it's right now. It's instantaneous. As as my colleague has has said in the past, you know, if you're running an event, like say we're doing PodCamp Pittsburgh, you talk about the event on Twitter. You correspond and distribute information about the in, in event using the hashtag for us PCPGHX or, or 9 or whatever the case may be. And you know what's going on now. Hey, this session moved. Hey, somebody, somebody's doing a breakout session here. Hey, nobody park on the street. Something bad just happened, you know, <laughs> uh, things like that. And then you go to, you roll over to Facebook afterwards and say, hey, this is how the event went. You know, hey, these were the high points of the event. You don't want to want it, you know. Um, and, and that's just kind of, uh, I think that speaks to how each platform reacts to things. Um, and, and. So why Twitter? Why are you on Twitter? Or oh, you have any questions about Twitter? Should you do X on Twitter? Let me know at Sorgatron on Twitter, of course, or uh, or Basic Sorgonomics. Look for it on Facebook, uh, YouTube, and of course, uh, sign up for the newsletter. Drop me a line. There's a contact page over at Sor Side bleh, SidekickMediaServices.com as well as SorgatronMedia.com. Uh, hit up either one of those if you have any questions and you want to use the uh, uh, old email system. And we'll get right back to you. Uh, I love answering questions. I please any anything like that. If you have any, need any advice, anything like that, hit me up, and uh, we'll see what we can do. Uh, thank you so much. We'll see you next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.